first just kind of go over what private label rights is so you have a really good understanding. Uh, just in case you don't, you know, just in case you don't know what it is. Uh, PLR stands for private label resell rights. It means that somebody creates a product and then they offer it for sale, but in a special, very, very special way. Typically, you go out and you buy a product, right? And you can use that product yourself. You can't then copy the product and sell it to other people, right? Well, with private label rights, you can. You are actually buying the rights to the product so that you can do, you know, a lot of different things with it. In a lot of cases, you can change the title, you can change uh, the content of it, you can put your own name on it, and then you can sell it to other people without having to have uh, actually created the product that's essentially what you're doing is buying the rights to it and don't worry it is actually totally legal um, you can't buy rights to every product some people sell their product and that's it they want to just sell the product to end users others create products for the purpose of you being able to buy the rights to it so yes a lot of times you have to pay a little more uh, especially for the good quality stuff. Uh, a lot of times this stuff will come with a website, uh, like it'll already have the graphics and stuff. Preferably they give you source graphics because, well, you'll see why uh, on the next slide. I want to tell you how you really kill it by doing PLR. Um, a lot of times it'll even give you maybe a free offer to give away. It'll They'll give you... Uh, autoresponder emails, they'll give you a whole bunch of stuff. Some sites like nakedplr.com, for example, um, will give you just the content. That's it. Just like an ebook, uh, or maybe they'll do a video, and that's all you get is just that. And boom, you're set. You go out and you do everything else with it yourself. Okay. But it gives you a huge head start. And it is usually much cheaper than going out and trying to hire somebody to create it for you. But understand that when you buy a private label rights product, you are the owner. That means it is your product. And it's totally ethical, totally legal to put your name on it or somebody else's name if you want. If you want to just use a pen name, you can do whatever you want to with it. Now, you got to check the terms when you buy private label rights products because some of them are different. They have master rights and they have regular PLR and they have you know a bunch of different kinds of versions really that give you different levels of what you can do so you do got to check that but a nice thing too about PLR products is you know if you're an affiliate for something let's say you don't have any control over the price of that product at all the vendor owns it right they set the price well with the PLR product you set the price so here's why PLR is bad because some guys go out there, they buy the product, you know, they buy the PLR package and they want to sell it. And then some other guys out there and they want to sell it and they start fighting with each other. Okay. So it's a price war, right? And this guy wants to undercut this guy. And so they work it down. And pretty soon you can buy a whole library of crappy PLR for seven bucks. Uh, it's just ridiculous. Well, you do set your own price, right? But there's a way around all of that because most people take the PLR and they buy it they set it up and they sell it and that's it that's all they do the secret to making your PLR uh, aspect of this working is rebranding you're gonna take the uh, actually let's go ahead and go to the next slide and we'll talk more in detail about rebranding you're going to take the content that you get and you're going to change it up. Now, what that means is, don't worry, it's not a lot of work. It means we want to change the title of the product. We're going to call it something else. Because if everybody out there that bought this PLR package is selling uh, Yoga with Jeremy and uh, you know they don't change the title, and now you have like 500 people selling the same product and they're going to do that price bidding thing, price war, right? Now, if you've got uh, beginning yoga with Johnny Guru 
Nobody else has that. So when they see 500 people selling this product for 10 bucks, and they see you selling your product for 47, they're going to be like, okay, these guys are selling junk, and this is probably this $47 course. This is what I want to look at. Okay, so just a simple thing like changing the title. You might also want to go through there and, uh, you know, do a search and replace. And if there's a name in there, change yours out, right? Put your name in there. You can also um, change the graphics up a little bit. Now, what the reason I mention this is because sometimes a PLR package will include a website and maybe an ebook design. The really good ones include source graphics for all of that because you need to be able to tweak it. Change the colors a little bit. Maybe swap out the graphics to it. Now what I'm going to do is actually I'm going to show you a PLR package that I purchased and then I'm going to show you the changes that I made to it and how just a few little swapping out things makes it a totally different product. Now it's not going to be a Photoshop tutorial, okay? I'm not going to go through all the stuff about Photoshop and how you do all this stuff. This is about site flipping, okay? But I am going to show you the before and after, and we'll talk about what the differences were. It's amazing how just a few things that you change give you a, a totally original product that nobody else has. And the thing is, it's so stupid. Nobody does this. You know, nobody goes out there, and they want the easiest buck that they can make, so they buy the PLR, they don't do any work to it, they throw it up, and then they gripe about the fact that 500 other people are selling the same thing. Okay, so the key here is the rebranding. Then do your own little spin on the content. Actually read the ebook, uh, and, uh, you know, maybe do a little bit of editing. Put some things in your own words. Just make it a little bit different. If, if it comes with a website that has a sales page, definitely go over that sales page and change it up. Customize it. I would much rather start out with... Uh, you know, a 1,500-word sales page, and I go in there and just read it and tweak it to make it my own, then have to write it from scratch. I guarantee you that. I mean, it's a lot more work writing it from scratch. But truly, make the package your own. Try to do, uh, you know, every little thing that you can do just to make it different than everybody else that's selling the PLR. Okay, so let's go ahead in the next video and I'll talk to you about a PLR product that I grabbed and the changes that I made to the graphics and things like that. Um, and you can see, you know, how big a difference it makes.